Uh, okay. So for this problem, we have a pump which has a length of 0.25 meters. And uh, so suppose this is the pump. And then we have uh, uh, a piston over here. So this is the piston. And then we have some pressure here. So uh, we want to pump this, uh, the air inside this pump from initial pressure is uh, one atmosphere to 3.8 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. So uh, let's see how far down the lens of the cylinder has to move. Okay, so for part A, uh, suppose the lens of this pump is uh, L, okay? And suppose that uh, the cross-section of this pump, like this area, this area equal to S. Then we have, uh, uh, and this is also this is also adiabatic process. So we have P times V gamma is constant. Okay. And the V, V here just is simply equal to L times S. So we have P initial times uh, S times L initial with power gamma equal to P final times S times L final with power gamma. All right. And uh, uh, we already know PI and the PF, that is the initial pressure and the final pressure. And uh, the S is just a constant, and we're going to cross out S on both sides. And LI is the initial length, which is 0.25 meters. And LF is the unknown variable. So we can solve for this LF. LF equal to uh, LI times PI over PF with power 1 over gamma. For air, gamma equal to 1.4. Okay, so uh, we can plug in the numbers, and the, the solution is uh, point 0.97 meters, point zero ninety seven meters. And uh, because we want to find out how far down the lens cylinder has to move, so uh, delta L equal to L I minus LF, which equal to 0.153 meters, okay? And for part B, uh, so we know the initial temperature and we want to find out the, the final temperature. Uh, we already have this formula, this is a constant and the, by applying the other one, PV equal to RT, you will obtain this formula, the T gamma over P gamma minus one is a constant, okay? So we have T final equal to T initial times P final over P initial with power gamma minus one over gamma. So you're just plugging the numbers, Ti is uh, uh, 27 Celsius degrees, but here you need to transfer the Celsius degrees in Kelvin degrees. So 27 Celsius degrees equal to 300 Kelvin, okay? So uh, initial temperature is, three is 300 Kelvin, and uh, PF is uh, this one, uh, is uh, 3.8 times 10 to, 10 to the fifth, and PI is 1.01 times 10 to the fifth, and gamma is 1.4. So uh, we obtain the final, the, the, the solution is uh, 438 Kelvin.
and it is also equal to 165 Celsius degrees. All right. In part C, if we want to find out the work uh, that uh, added to the gas. Okay. So because this is an adiabatic process, so the work formula for work is simply equal to uh, the change in internal energy, which is uh, N times CV times delta T. Now here, delta T is uh, TF minus TI. So TF is uh, this 165 Celsius degrees, and TI is 27 degrees. A is 20 moles, and the CV is given to be 20.8. So plug in the numbers, and the, the final solution is 57, let me see, 408 joules. I remember that uh, this work is actually done by the gas, uh, done into the gas, yeah. So, yeah, that's it.